Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, I am back. I am back to filming videos. We are moved to Arizona, we are settling in nicely and we have a massive, massive, massive stock up grocery haul for you. We pretty much got rid of everything with the exception of some frozen meat and a few pantry items when we made our big move from Washington to Arizona. So not only did I go to Costco, Sprout, I also went to Fry's, which is a Kroger store. So I have a huge, 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 huge grocery haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I'd love to have you here. I do a grocery haul every single Saturday and I upload five days a week. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you, macros and calories, highly recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you wanna chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, definitely come on over, join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's jump into this massive grocery haul. So here is part one of my massive grocery haul. This is my $500 trip to Costco. We needed quite a few things. We left a lot of food behind, gave some food to some friends of ours. So we needed to restock some basics, some drinks, lots of stuff for the dogs. So let me show you what I picked up from Costco. A big pack of Clorox wipes. We were down to one container that we hauled here from Washington. I use these to clean my bathrooms. That's the main thing I use these for. Some jerky dog treats. These are actually on coupon for five or six dollars, which is a really good deal. It's a three and a half pound bag. I picked these up just for something different. They were pretty low in carb, really low in sugar. These are keto dark chocolate nuggets. They're coconut and look at all the good stuff in here. I thought that these would be a nice sweet treat, something that isn't full of sugar and carbohydrates. And then my favorite little sweet treat are heavenly hunks. These are so delicious and these were on coupon as well. This is the oatmeal chocolate chip, my favorite. A big thing of Daisy sour cream because we do not have any sour cream and you guys already know this is something we use all the time. A big pack of organic eggs because we did not bring our eggs with us to Arizona. I grabbed the special K variety pack for Troy. We don't have any cereal in our pantry and he likes to have cereal for breakfast. This one's really cool because there's blueberry special K, banana special K, and fruit and yogurt special K. So that was a great deal for $7.99. And then another dog treat, the dentist sticks were on coupon as well for $12.99. You can see I have a case of paper towels because we have used a ton of paper towels since we moved with cleaning and unpacking and just wiping everything down. If you are in need of light bulbs, they have an amazing deal right now at Costco. You actually get a six pack of LED bulbs. They have soft light and daylight for $5.50. They're normally $13 a pack and they're on coupon for $5.50. So I actually grabbed two of the soft white and two of the daylight. The Adele's chicken meatballs, teriyaki pineapple, I love these. Troy doesn't love these, I love these. They're a great way to get in protein and a really quick and easy lunch or dinner. And then I grabbed a two pack of the Reese's Main Street mashed potatoes for Troy. This is something that he can just warm up and have for a meal. I've heard really good things about this Columbus brand of turkey bacon and turkey bacon is just a better option overall for me because of the fat content. So I'm excited to try this. This I believe was about $13.99, which is a great deal. I mean, there's tons of bacon in here. I did grab a pack of raspberries and a pack of blueberries just so that we had some fruit. A restock of our Reos marinara. This is our favorite. It has such clean ingredients, lower in carbs. It's just a really good quality marinara. And then I grabbed these balance breaks. I thought these would be really great for me and for Troy for snacks. They're cheese and crackers and one has wheat thins, one has Ritz. He probably won't eat the one with the pepper jack, but I will. But but he'll probably eat the one with the wheat thin. I thought this would be a really quick and easy lunch or snack. Some of the Kirkland peanut butter pretzels, we both really like these, and this was like $9, such a great deal. A big pack of chips for Troy. We have been completely out of potato chips, so I made sure that I grabbed the 54 pack. A three pack of Crest mouthwash. This is on coupon for $7.99, which is a great deal. I did grab an eight pack of albacore tuna. This is one of my go-to lunches. This is something I eat all the time for lunch. It's a great way to get in protein. My favorite way to eat it is either on a low-carb tortilla or I like to dip my Siete Ranch chips in it. 
So good. A big variety pack of cheese because we don't have any sliced cheese. My favorite mayo is the Chosen Foods avocado mayo and we did not bring our mayonnaise with us so I grabbed that. And this big thing of ranch seasoning was only $9.99. I thought that was a great deal. I love to put this on chicken, vegetables, so I thought this would be something easy to have on hand in our pantry. I did grab the eight in one supplements for the dogs. This is something we've been giving all three dogs every single day. It's good for all of these different things and actually when I took Diesel to the vet here in Arizona, a few days ago, I told her I gave the, these eight in one multi benefit chews from Costco, and she said these are a great, great chew. I believe it's $29.99, and there's 250 per bag. Kitchen bags, because we used all of our garbage bags between the move and cleaning once we got here. And I did pick up a 24 pack of Coors Light for Troy. My favorite cooking spray is the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil. We actually used up all our cooking spray before we left, it was perfect timing. And I have heard rave reviews about these Just Bear Chicken. And and we do not have these in Washington. So I almost got the, I think, Tyson brand. And then I saw these and I thought, I'm gonna try those because I have heard really, really good things about them. I love throwing these in my air fryer. Again, putting them in a low carb wrap with pickles is so good. You can spread a laughing cow cheese or some mayonnaise. Such a great lunch. I also grabbed some grapes. So we have grapes, blueberries, and raspberries. Avocados because I love avocados. I've been craving avocados. So I picked up a big bag as well as some some English cucumbers for us for snacking. We do have some ranch dip in our fridge and it's so good with these cucumbers. I also grabbed a big bag of organic asparagus. I'm going to roast these up with dinner. We are actually in a position now where I can cook dinner and we don't have to eat out anymore, which I'm so grateful for. So I did stock up on my veggies, including this huge organic pack of squash. There's yellow and green squash in here. I wanna say this was $6.99 and there's at least eight. So that's such a great deal. Some steak strips. I love Love a good beef jerky as a snack. It's just such a great way to get in protein and such a healthy, low carb, low point, high protein snack. I did grab a case of water and a case of Diet Coke. Sunscreen because Arizona. So I did grab us the Spray Elba sunscreen. This is also on coupon. Tortillas are an amazing deal at Costco. I have the Mission Carb Balance for me. And then I got the big, huge Guerrero, Guerrero ones for Troy. I was super excited to see these organic potatoes. Normally Costco has the little potato company, but not organic. And I always buy my pot potatoes organic because they're on the dirty dozen. So super excited to see this. These are just those little baby potatoes. I love to roast these up or throw these in the air fryer. I, we did get Diesel a new dog bed that's outside on our patio. And then lastly, the Downy Unstoppable scent boosters to make our laundry smell really good. That is my massive, massive Costco portion of my haul. So now let's jump into what I picked up is Sprouts and and at Fry's, which is a Kroger or a Fred Meyer store. So here's the rest of my grocery haul for the week. I went to both Sprouts and Fry's, which is the Kroger store. So let me show you what I picked up. First thing are some of these late July sea salt chips. These are so good, these tortilla chips. They have a nice clean ingredients. I just grabbed the sea salt. At Sprouts, I grabbed some trail mix. This has been a really good snack for me because it has protein, carbohydrates, some healthy fat. So this is just their mountain trail mix. So it's nuts, raisins, and then the little chocolate M&M pieces. Some baking soda because we are completely out and I actually threw our box away before we started our move. Some chicken spring rolls from Sprouts. I thought these would be a quick, easy lunch or dinner. Just throw these into the air fryer. We're going to have sloppy gym for dinner tonight, so I grabbed a can of the original Manwich. Sweet relish so that I can make tuna salad for lunches this next week. I needed pesto for a couple of dinner recipes. This one had the lowest calories of all the brands of pesto, and this is the Barilla. A heat and eat pack of rice aroni. This is the Urban Butter. I thought this would be a super easy side dish. I've been wanting to try these Yasso Poppables for so long. These are the mint ones. They were pretty expensive, but they are only 60 calories a piece, and it's just ice cream coated in chocolate. So I thought that that would be really, really good. And again, I wanted to try them out. So they are 60 calories per little poppable. And then I also picked up the Yasso Sea Salt Caramel for Troy. He really, really likes these. And since we're in Arizona and it's hot, Ice cream in the freezer is a must. Parmesan cheese, this is for several recipes this next week, and we just like to have Parmesan on hand. I also needed some light shredded mozzarella and some light shredded Mexican blend for a couple of dinner recipes. I wanted to try these Shroud Foods Protein Puffs. These are the sour cream and onion. These have 14 grams of protein per serving, so I thought if I wanted a crunchy snack, I might as well get in some protein. Lots of yogurt, so Sprouts had the Chobani Zero 
sugar and I've been wanting to try these for a while. So I picked up the key lime pie, the milk and cookies and the toasted coconut vanilla. And these Oikos protein yogurts are really good. I had one of these when we first got to Arizona. So I grabbed one of the strawberries with 20 grams of protein and an Oikos triple zero vanilla. These ones have 15 grams. And this is my all time favorite flavor of the two good yogurt. This is the Meyer lemon. It is so good and refreshing. So I grabbed two of those as well. Some fat free Fairlife milk. This is for me when I make up my protein shakes because there's so much protein in the Fairlife milk. And then I needed a small container of whole milk for a couple of dinner recipes. A restock of Worcestershire sauce because we gave ours to our friends before we left Washington. I can't believe it's not butter light. This is for Troy. This is the butter that he prefers. And then some one third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese. I actually need cream cheese for my meal prep and a couple of dinner recipes. Two containers of my favorite cottage cheese. This is the good culture, low fat cottage cheese, my all time favorite. So I grabbed two containers. Light ranch for salads, as well as dipping our cucumbers in. I did buy some cucumbers at Costco and I thought we could dip those in ranch for a snack. I also needed minced garlic because I gave ours away before we moved. I decided to get some organic brown rice cakes, the sprouts ones. They're nice and thin and I thought these would be really good with peanut butter on them for a snack. They have their red, white, and blue potato salad on sale for $2.99. It does expire in I think the next three or four days, but we'll definitely eat that up. And also their Fiesta dip. I grabbed the tortilla chips to have with this. So it's beans and cheese, tomatoes and onions. I thought that would be a really, really easy, good snack. Some crackers. I at fries, I picked up the Milton's Cheesy Cheddars. I thought these would be great in hummus or dip. I did grab a hummus and a dip that I'll show you as well. And then at Sprouts, I got the Back to Nature. These are the Rosemary and Olive Oil Stone Ground Crackers. I really wanted the Cheddies and they were completely sold out. I did ask and they said that they should be back. They're just currently sold out. That's my favorite cracker. Some fully cooked bacon. This is for my meal prep as well as a dinner recipe this next week. A box of BLT Suddenly Salad. I thought I could make this up and Troy could have this as a snack with lunch or as a side with dinner. I'm really excited about these. These are the Birchbender's Protein Waffles. So I thought that I could throw these in my toaster and I would get a good crunchy waffle with some added protein. They also had protein chocolate chip pancakes. That sounded really good as well, but I decided just to grab the waffles this time. Also at Sprouts, I picked up some already shredded up chicken. Now this is light and dark meat, but I thought this would make super quick lunches and snacks for me and a great way to get in some lean protein. Dip I picked up is the La Terrafina. This is my favorite brand of dip. This is the spinach and Parmesan. So I thought that we could dip the couple of different kinds of crackers or veggies in that. And then also some roasted red pepper hummus. I love hummus. And this brand private selection is my all time favorite. This is a Kroger brand. So I did pick this up at Fry's. I also love these eat pastry protein cookie dough bites. I only have one or two of these as a sweet treat. They're so good. This is the peanut butter chocolate chip. These were from Sprouts. I decided to try a couple of bon Banza, Bonza products. I heard really good things about their mac and cheese. So this is the Elbows Classic Cheddar Mac and Cheese and it has 15 grams of protein and is gluten free. And then I also picked up some pasta as well. Look at the protein in there, 20 grams of protein in pasta. So I am excited to try those out. Some hamburger buns for the sloppy joes. And then for vegetables, pretty minimal because I did grab a lot at Costco, but I grabbed some strawberries. This is for my meal prep. Lots and lots of bell peppers for meal prep and a dinner recipe. So I have three red, an orange and a yellow. I also grabbed a red onion and a regular onion a jalapeno for my lunch meal prep. And then I had to get these little baby carrots. I'm going to roast these up with zucchini that I bought at Costco and the asparagus for veggies with dinner tonight. So that is everything that I picked up at both Sprouts and Fries. Let's go ahead and jump into my meal plan for the week and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. Starting with today, Saturday, we will probably do takeout. I'm not sure that I'll eat takeout, but I know we'll do takeout out for Troy. I have some leftovers in the fridge that I need to eat up. Tomorrow, Sunday, I am making Philly cheesesteak casserole. Stay tuned for this recipe. I'm so excited about it. You guys will see it in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Monday, I'm doing sheet pan chicken fajitas. Tuesday is a leftover night. Wednesday is sausage with creamy basil sauce. That sounds so good. 
Thursday is garlic butter steak bites, and then Friday is a leftover night, so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm so excited to get back to meal prepping. Breakfast is going to be breakfast burritos. These are a really good make-ahead breakfast burrito, especially if you're on the go in the morning. Lunch is going to be jalapeno popper meatballs. I'm super excited for that. And then for a Arizona inspired fresh summery dessert, I am making strawberry bread. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me on this week's massive, massive grocery haul. I hope you got some food inspo from everything that I picked up. I can't wait to start cooking in my new kitchen. My first meal prep in my new house will be out on Monday. I have lots and lots of videos in store for you, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss any uploads. Don't forget to give the, this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed a massive grocery haul. And of course, check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't don't forget, come on over and join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you again for watching. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.